is going on y'all and welcome back once again to the DC show. This is T McNeil. So if this is indeed your first time here, make sure that you like, comment, share, and hit the subscribe button if you're looking for the latest in information on sneakers, reviews, updates, etc, etc. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, check it out y'all. Look, the Nike LeBron 7 All-Stars are going to be releasing in roughly a couple of days. So today's Monday, so we're talking about probably Wednesday of this week, February the 12th, and uh, Nike LeBron 7 All-Stars. Uh, I want to get you guys thoughts and opinions on these joints, man, because it's vitally important, okay? I always like to get you guys thoughts and opinions and feedback on the shoes because I give you guys the information and, um, you know, it's one of the things where once you get the information, you know, you feel how you feel, you formulate your opinion on them, and then you go from there, all right? So, as far as the official price point, it will be going for $200 even. Nothing really spectacular there. Nothing alarming either because usually most Nike products are between 175 to that 200 price point anyway. So I'm not really complaining about that too much. Um, now, the official colorway for this particular shoe, they're calling this chlorine blue and black. Okay, guys, again, that is chlorine blue and black. Now, if you guys want to know where to buy the shoes from, according to the information, you can get them obviously on Nike or Nike sneakers app. Uh, you get them on Foot Locker, Foot Locker uh, GS, okay, and you can get them on BSTN. All right, so just to give you guys a quick update on that information, um, unfortunately, which is kind of weird, but right now they're sold out at Foot Locker, even though they haven't officially been released to the public, but they're sold out, okay? So Nike says it's coming soon. Um, actually, BSTN, they're available, and Foot Locker GS is also available. Okay, guys, so... You might have to do a little bit of waiting, but, you know, it is what it is, all right? So, let's go ahead on and look at these joints, man. Right there, man. Um, Yeah, I, I'm feeling them, y'all. I mean, it, you know, Nike LeBron 7 All-Stars. Now, keep in mind, y'all, that this is actually the 2020 version, you know, coming up for the All-Star game weekend. You know, the thing about it is, you know, these shoes have released before. But, again, these are the 2020 version, not to get it confused with past iterations. Um... Gee, where do we start? Well, let's start in the front of the toe box area, guys. And what they're calling that is actually wood grain. Okay, and that's not brown like wood grain would normally be, but it is a wood grain material that they did put onto the front um, toe box area of the shoe. You do have, of course, all that individual stitching, guys, stitching that onto the body of the shoe. Okay, now you go up, you got black shoe strings there. The upper is coming in that chlorine blue. And then on top of that, um, we go where the Nike swoosh is. Now, the Nike swoosh is coming in what looks like some type of a textile material. And that's the same textile material that um, the Nike LeBron 7, also the side panels is coming in as well. You do have the fly wire material. That's that uh, black woven material that you see over top of that. And behind that, you do have a little bit of the mesh as well. Okay, now you got the LV J symbol coming in the back right there. Um, you do have a nice midsole, actually. I love the uh, see-through effect right there, guys. You kind of have that clear bubble, you know, for the Nike LeBron Sevens. So you already know that these are definitely ball playing shoes. Um, and you know, I'm not complaining about that. You know, it's not zoom air cushioning, but to me, it's pretty much the next best thing. All right, y'all. Now, going to the top of the shoe. Um, you do have, looks like, uh, could be LeBron's signature on the actual tongue itself. I could be wrong on that, guys, but just bear with me here. Now, as far as the wood grain that I talked about in the uh, beginning of the video, check it out now. That wood grain is actually reflective as well, okay? So that's a nice little touch that the Nike brand has put onto the shoe. I'm definitely feeling that. Um, again, I like the blacked out shoe strings. I like the mesh tongue with all the little individual hole design that they put on there. That looks pretty cool as well. And if you guys look really close on the right side of your screen, which technically would be the left shoe, it looks like that Nike swoosh is also reflective as well. So I'm not mad at that at all. All right, y'all. 
Now, at the bottom of the shoestring, you do have a 2010 tab right there. And then on the other shoestring guys on the left side of the shoe, or which will technically be the right shoe, you have the East, okay? So again, this is kind of reminiscent of the past of what I was talking about. Um, I believe that is the last time that this particular shoe was released was the Eastern Conference Finals of 2010. Now, I could be wrong on that, guys, but again, just um, definitely bear with me. Then again, at the very bottom of this particular shoe, okay, you, again, you can't see that wood grain finish. And again, that wood grain finish is definitely um, reflective, okay? Now, the inner portion of the shoe, you know, you do have 2010, 2010, you got the Eastern Conference Finals symbol in there as well. So I'm definitely feeling that, okay? But that's why I said earlier that this is a 2020 version. So you guys won't get this confused with the last iteration once again, all right? Now, flipping them joints around to the back. You know, you got your, definitely got some good leather sitting right there as well, y'all. It's not the textile material that you see on the body of the shoe, but this is actually leather coming in that chlorine blue surrounded by all the individual stitching. You can definitely see um, how the Nike swoosh has cut across the side panels of the shoe and it's made its way to the back of the shoe. Okay, and I like how the, the Nike brand actually kind of crossed it in to that leather right there with the stitching surrounding that nice little change and effect at the same time. Um, you got LeBron James signature uh, or his symbol kind of sitting there once again on the inner portion of both of those shoes. Okay, now, again, you've got more of that wood grain material once again. That is also reflected on the rear of the shoe. And then if we go down to the back heel base of the shoe, on one side, you've got the L, and then on the other side, you've got the J. All right, so I'm, I'm definitely feeling that, and I want to get you guys those opinions on that. Um, the back of the tongue and the exterior portion of where you see the actual uh, not really just a shoe liner, but more so where the ankle support is located. All of that is also blacked out. So I'm definitely feeling these shoes. And then the very bottom of the shoe, uh, or the outsole as we know it, you know, you've got uh, LeBron James got his signature at the very bottom right there. Again, LeBron at the top, James at the bottom with the Nike swoosh in the middle. Okay. And then on top of that, you've got more of that chlorine blue and you've got it surrounded by Kind of looks like it could be a see-through aqua green kind of effect going on, so I'm definitely feeling that as well, all right? So, what do you guys think about LeBron 7 from Nike, the All-Star Editions? Again, they're dropping on February the 12th, roughly two days from now. Once again, they're going for the $200 price point. Is it a shoe that you guys want to cop or pass? Let a brother know. You're going to add it to the sneaker collection. Or is this going to be something that you're not going to uh, waste your time with? All right. I mean, me personally, I like them. I mean, the chlorine blue is definitely unique. I like the fly wire material. You know, I like the textile material as well on the side panels of the shoe. And on top of that, I do like that uh, kind of that wood grain that they put onto, not on the toe box area, but other various points on the shoe, which also is reflective. Okay. And on top of that, I do like the fact that the Nike swoosh also appears to be reflective as well, okay? But the chlorine blue is a little bit too loud for me. But again, you guys never know what you think because y'all might feel it a little bit more than me, all right? So again, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you guys in the very next video, all right? So I appreciate you watching and listening. Y'all have a good one.